Alrighty guys, so we are moving right along here in our Hemlock and Oak Planner. We've made it to the wish list. So these are fun pages right here. And I did uh, go ahead and uh, like stencil in some lines with the pencil. I don't know if you can see it on screen. Uh, just decided to save some, you know, time in that. So, uh, I just like my writing to be a little bit, and I already, I already messed up. <laughs> but it's okay, because, you know, I got those strips of white label paper laying around. So, let's just, let's just go ahead and just cover that up. We're gonna try again here. So, <laughs> see, we all make mistakes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so the first thing that is on my wish list, which again, this is just a place where you're going to write down things. Um, they say to reward yourself in the future. Uh, this is where I put like those big items that I want to spend or, do, you know, I want to buy. Um, it's just, it's not like really in my budget to buy it. So I kind of like put it back here and it's like, you know, it would be amazing if I could have these items. <laughs> uh, really, uh, this page is how I ended up getting my craft cr uh, craft room. I uh, completely redid it uh, last year. So um, this page can be quite handy. And again, it is really where I list the stuff that like I want it. But at the same time, like, it would be like a dream to have it. So that's really what this wish list is to me. So let's get started here. Um, so I already put in the Neewear uh, overhead mount rig. Uh, this thing's pretty freaking cool. And uh, you're going to get a chance to see it. Because um, you're going to get to see... Uh, the addition that I add to this page here in a moment is just uh, I want to get this list here but I mean having this thing would definitely help with my videos um, it would clear up a lot of uh, floor space because you know what you aren't seeing here off screen is I'm surrounded by these uh, giant soft lights <laughs> there's one suspended from the ceiling above me and there's like two others that are like creating, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like one side of a Y. Uh, these things are like two feet by two feet. <laughs> and they do blind you whenever you're filming. Um, so yeah, definitely this overhead mount rig. Cause you could put, as you can see, like the next thing is an LED panel light. Uh, you can attach these and these things uh, bend like a complete 180. Um, there's also a smaller version of it. It's a tabletop mount stand. Um, I'm really thinking I could get by with just two of these because, again, you could attach those lights to it. But then, like, after seeing the mount rig, I'm just like, why not just get that thing? Like, I know it's more, but, like, you can attach so many things to that. And maybe I'll get a better microphone and instead of this little clip-on thing that dangles from me. Um... <laughs> Uh, okay, I would need a phone clamp if I did get the smaller version of the table stand. So that's why that's on the list. Um, okay, I, if you did watch my goals uh, setups, um, you know that I'm in the market for a new vehicle. <laughs> so um, we're going to add that on here. So that's either going to be, um, if I choose to do the used lot, um, that would literally cover the price of the vehicle, uh, in my area. Um, if I do go, um, a little bit newer, um, that would be the down payment for the vehicle. So I do want at least 5,000, uh, before I even think about that. And, of course, the plant room, guys. <laughs> so, uh, basically, whenever I move the craft room, I now have what I call the center room in my house. And, I mean, yeah, like all my dressers and, I mean, Bert's box. Uh, he actually has, like, his own litter box wooden cover. So, 
it's like his own little private bathroom but um I mean that thing's just chilling in there too and it's like I got all of these surfaces and right now like a bunch of junk and clutters on them uh, but I think it would be really cool to clear them off and, you know, get rid of the junk and, uh, like put a bunch of plants in there and just make like a little plant room. So, uh, this is what I do is I take a page from the notes. Uh, again, this is the hemlock and oak printable. So like, the, I mean, this is why I put it in a disc planner here. <laughs> like I said, it's like a happy planner on roids. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I take a notes page from the notes and, uh, we are gonna kind of create a vision board. Um, like it, if you're just like a, like a basic functional planner and like the words do it for you, uh, by all means just stick with the regular wish list. Um, I am very visual and to me i found that whenever i create one of these like little mini vision boards for this it's a reminder and like i'm looking at the thing going yeah that would be freaking cool so i'm more likely to work towards it um sorry for like the you know nothing happening on screen right now i am trying to get my sprocket to work <laughs> <laughs> it was fighting me there for a moment okay so here we go he's printing me out my first photo uh this is the uh the overhead mount rig so this is that thing for like 159 i mean guys look at this thing it's ginormous <laughs> you can suspend a camera a phone a microphone uh guaranteed at least two to three led lights off of this thing um it's cool <laughs> and again i don't know why the sprocket app is fighting with me right now of course like the one time that i bring it on the camera and i'm like yeah guys check out this sprocket and it's like yeah i ain't gonna work um come on buddy i really really <laughs> need you to print <laughs> I mean it it does need charged so that's probably why it's fighting me as much as it is, is right now and I, again I'm sorry if I sound sleepy guys um I've been up since 2 a.m I did take a nap midday but um yeah, it's 2 a.m. now the next day. So, I mean, like, whenever I say, like, I go on a planning binge, I mean, uh, we are going on a planning binge. So, let's see here. Let's see if, um, if I could get this thing to print. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I don't know if it's, oh, God, it's printing another one. <laughs> Well, I guess that's going in my passion planner daily. Okay, so that's going to go off to the side here. All right, guys. So see, you can see I got it in the queue. I have made the photos. I have selected them. Uh, we're just really waiting on Sprocket to do its thing. And oh my God. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> you can't write this. Um, okay, so... Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the sprocket here, uh, the blue card is what you put in with new photo paper. Uh, it's what tells the sprocket, um, you know, what you're using. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the thing to end. Okay, there we go. So you put it in there with your new photo paper like that. And um, it, yeah, I, I don't know what's on the barcode, just a bunch of information. And it kind of tells it how much heat and stuff to use when it's making your stickers. Um, yeah, uh, of course, I keep the blue card in my sprocket. It comes out first, which you're going to see since this is a new pack now. Um, but w what I do is whenever I'm done printing, I just put it back in on the top. Uh, sometimes the sprocket throws a fit and running that blue card back through your sprocket does help it to work better. Okay, any day, buddy, any day you can start printing so that <laughs> we can get back to doing cool things um sprocket why are you doing me like this okay so again like i said he he does need charged 
It's probably why he's throwing a fit right now. And he's like, lady, you've been planning all day. You need to go to bed. And I'm just like, no, Sprocket Brain, you must work. And okay, so see, we got that blue card coming back. He's reading that barcode, doing his thing. <laughs> just going to put that off to the side because, like I said, I keep it. And uh, hopefully we can get some photos um, out of this thing anytime soon. And here we go. Okay, so these are the new photos that I thought I printed off on the last one. Okay, so I'm going to start chopping this thing in half while he should be printing the next photo. Are you going to print the next photo, buddy? Um, apparently, i got to press play for this, too. <laughs> Uh, it really isn't this difficult to print on this thing, guys. It never, never is this, uh, it, I mean, normally it just prints and I'm like, thank you. But he knows he's on camera, so he must be camera shy. Okay, so we got that photo. And I'm just cleaning up the edges and come on, buddy. Okay, so he really does need charged. <laughs> it's shutting off on me in the middle of this. And I am going back to the app just to make sure it doesn't do a repeat. Uh, we're deleting those as soon as those go through uh, the printer here. And... Okay. So, uh, this is the last photo. So, we can, like I said, get back to fun things. Um, okay, let me put this thing on charge. Because uh, I do want to use it in the next video. And let me go ahead and get that off the table. And, okay, so we are back to fun. We can start creating again. And I think I'm just going to start with this because, you know, it's, it's, it's huge. And, of course, we got this little mini one. But, again, I wanted that because it shows, like, the LED lights and all the other attachments. So, I know in one way it's, like, kind of redundant. Uh, but... Um, I, I don't know, like as a creator, I am like really pumped about, um, this table rig. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. We got him on there and I'm going to kind of put this one off to the side and, um, the easiest, uh, fastest way of doing this so that like it's not over complicated and takes you forever is I just take a mild liner and I write um, the name of the object that I'm interested in uh, the, in the mild liner. And I do have to, I'm sorry, I gotta look up to see how you spell equipment. <laughs> I can't believe I just had to Google that. Um, okay, so there we go. So filming equipment. And I am going to bring out this Micron size 5 marker, pen, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, so I'm just going to write in some, like, cute little font up here. Uh, just upgrade. So now I got upgrade filming equipment. <laughs> so, I mean, to me, it just makes it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Uh, again, I am a visual person, so this is probably why stuff like this motivates me. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to write like a, uh, like a cute little reminder here. So like these panel lights would be perfect. Uh, again, it's going to save so much floor space. So, um, that's what I could put over here. So just a cute little caption. Uh, this setup would assist with more floor space. Um, cause less injuries, less uh, slamming my toe on it, hopefully me not like smacking my head on the camera mount, that happens, I haven't done that in a while, that should be coming up, um, okay, and then what I also do is whatever uh, mild liner I used to write that in, I will highlight the objects that coincide with it. And let's go ahead and do the price too, because um, when I do actually buy the item, I do write down the price that I paid. And again, with this list, I've noticed that I'm actually saving money with it too, because for some reason, like the thing is like full price whenever I find it. And then if you like wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. And like, I, I've gotten this stuff like 50% off. <laughs> Just by waiting it out. So, okay, I already know I'm going to do the new vehicle in this darker gray. So, 
um, let's go ahead and trim him out. And I know a lot of you are saying, like, Sally, that is not a new vehicle. And I'm like, okay, I know. Um, this is the vehicle that I had before I bought the vehicle that I think is junk. <laughs> Again, I will not name that vehicle. <laughs> But, um, this is a Chrysler Pacifica from, uh, the early 2000s. Um, I called him Brutus. <laughs> I had him for over 10 years, guys. I love that car. Um, it was nice and roomy. Uh, you could literally haul a full-size mattress in the back of this thing. And it, it went anywhere. <laughs> So, I know I'm not going to get another Brutus, um, one that it's, I mean, that thing would be, like, over 20 years old now, and, uh, like, they are very difficult to come by just because I think people started realizing, like, how good the car is. <laughs> you literally run it until it snaps. Um, that's what happened to mine is the, um the support system it snapped in half uh should i have paid the thousand dollars to weld it back together yes that is the mistake that i made <laughs> and yeah whenever you cut these into fun shapes it is difficult to get the lining off but check this out i got a little brutus sticker <laughs> okay so yeah i'm just gonna do a little friendly reminder here i miss brutus i do i love that car Okay, so, um, let's see here. My caption's gonna be, I need a car that is more reliable and safe for winter. Um, oh god, the ink was starting to go on me there for a moment. And, uh, yeah, like I said, like, my car is stated to have four-wheel drive. Again, I'm trying my best not to say what it is, but, guys, it doesn't have four-wheel drive. I mean, I, unless, like, all-wheel drive like spoils you but um yeah I I hate driving in the winter in this thing <laughs> it's it's complete junk okay so let's see here let's get back to good things so plant room so we're gonna create a plant room and I mean I know you have seen these little plant hangers uh they're like little peoples and they got little smiley faces on them I love these things. They're so cute. I think they would be adorable in there. Just hanging around. I could put my new ivy in it. <laughs> and, I mean, it, the best thing for me here is uh, Bert is not one of the cats that attack things. So, he would just be like this cat in the photo. Like, he would just be lounging around, uh, enjoying the sun, surrounded by his plants. And again, like this hanging pot is so stinking cute. Like I would just buy it just to have it. So let's see here. Let's add some curly arrows because they're fun. And uh, that's it. That's all. That's all my um my wish list there. So let's get this back into the planner. And I, again, all I did was take out a page um from the notes area. Uh, if you do have the book version of the Hemlock and Oak, uh, they do have the notes pages where you could print them. And you would just print it off and stick it in with some washi tape. It'd be the same thing. And there you go, guys. So that's what it looks like. That's my finished wish list. Uh, well, I mean, it's ready for 2024. We'll say it that way. And uh, again, I just want to close out by saying thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more Playing With Me's.